everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's Wednesday evening here in Finley, Ohio. Got home a little late today, so I didn't have the opportunity to pick something up on my way home. So I decided to dig into the fridge and see what I had lurking in the back. Um, one of the things I had in there was this beer, Missile Toad. This was gifted to me from the uh, Ginger Yeti. Picked it up when he was out on an adventure in western Pennsylvania in the Pittsburgh area. He picked this up. This is from Camp Hill, PA, from Evergreen Brewing Company. And again, Mistletoe, if you can see the can, he has a Santa hat on. So obviously a play on Mistletoe. Um, it's probably a Christmas beer, but I'm just getting to it now. Um, the reason I've been putting it off, is this is a triple IPA. As you guys probably know by now, I'm not the biggest fan of IPAs, so I've been kind of a bit apprehensive about this one. Um, I went and checked out the brewery. I've obviously never been there and never had anything from them. But it looked like a pretty interesting little place. Um, had a couple of different beers they make, obviously. Then they had Sunday yoga sessions. I don't think I'll be attending those, but I guess it's a good use of the space if you're into those kinds of things. Um, looks like they are open, but there were COVID restrictions in place, obviously. Um, but it said, if you're sitting, I think you had to have food, and during the peak times, there's a two hour limit. But other than that, it looked like, you know, like most other places, obviously, I thought, wear masks when you're sitting and all that kind of stuff. Um, but good to see they're, they're up and running. So let's give this one a shot. Oh, let's see what it say here on the side. Mistletoe, season's greetings from a hop rocket of holiday happiness, exploding with juiciness. This hazy IPA combines citrus notes with a soft piney finish. It's like a tropical vacation in the middle of winter. 10.5% ABV. This is a one pint can. I don't see the IBUs on it anywhere. Uh, Looks like these guys have been around since 2016. Proudly brewed in Camp Hill, Central PA. But yeah, I don't see the IBUs on here unless I'm missing it somewhere. So I guess this is a crapshoot. Let's see how, how hoppy the triple IPA is. Um, as far as ratings, it gets really good ratings. 4.21 on Untapped, 4.28 on Beer Advocate. Um, the aggregate score there was a 91 outstanding. So obviously a well-respected beer. Going with the Finley Crafted Nano Brewery glass today. As far as a look on this one, um, looks like it should. I mean, it's kind of a, a golden amber type color. It's definitely gold, but it has a bit of an orangey type hue to it. Um, head, nothing too crazy. It's rather thin, white head, but it looks all right. Let's give it a sniff. I pick up the citrus on the nose. I don't really get the pine as much, but you do pick up citrus. Kind of like a orange type smell. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Cheers. I think I've been ducking this for no reason. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. I was afraid that it was going to be really over the top um, hoppy, and it's really not at all. Um, I think when I looked them up on Untappd, it had it listed as like a. Um, triple New England IPA or something. A beer advocate had it as an Imperial IPA, uh, but it, it's not bad whatsoever. It's got a nice medium kind of mouthfeel body to it. Um, the, the, the body is probably medium body mouthfeel. Um, it's actually a, a bit to it. It's, it's kind of a, I don't know, I'm going say oily, but it's a little bit of thickness to it. It's not a bad taste. Um, it's pretty decent. Taste. I think you get hops throughout and not a lot else, but the hops do kind of change a little bit. I think it starts out with kind of like that tropical fruit thing going on, a little bit of citrus. And then at the end, it does get piney, like it says. Um, I actually kind of like the piney hops usually, um, but this does a pretty good job of combining the two into one beer. And I will say this for 10.5% or whatever it is, I really don't think you taste the alcohol at all. I mean, I'm not picking that up. Don't really get that burn or that kind of sweetness that comes with a high alcohol beer. Now, it could be they've just hidden it well because of the, the flavors from the hops and everything in it. Um, but overall, this is a, a pretty solid beer. As today is uh, National Beer Day, I guess I made a wise choice checking out the Mistletoe. So Mistletoe, Evergreen Brewing Company, Camp Hill, PA. It's the first beer I've had of yours, and I really kind of enjoy it. And I'm not an IPA dude, so you know this one's probably pretty solid. You get a big thumbs up. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, jump in down below. If you've been out to Evergreen before, had any other other beers, let me know what you think about them. Hey, until next time, cheers.